Hello everyone and welcome to Pawfology. It is extremely windy outside, but I'm on a walk and uh, I'm gonna try to film while I walk. So we'll see how this goes. You might be able to hear these signs in front of me uh, shaking. And as you can see, the trees are moving and it's crazy, it's crazy. So, but I'm on my way to Herculean and I'm gonna try to get a meal at Herculean. Um, we'll see, we'll see. It's, uh, I like Herculean, it's convenient, and you can get healthy food there. And I get to get outside and go for a walk. So that's what I'm doing. I hope you're all having a good Friday. Uh, my Friday's been pretty good so far. Um, not much has really happened besides me working and i'm just gonna enjoy this pretty day it's a very sunny day it is not super warm but uh it's nice it's it's honestly like perfect weather if it wasn't for the wind and uh, i can't stop watching castle rock i just i just love it so much and i just really like it so i've been watching that and that's about all I've been up to as far as last night. And then this morning I just worked. So, and I've been watching uh, Casey, Neistat, Casey Neistat's old vlogs. I, I really have enjoyed re-watching them. They're just, it, you know, like obviously people know this already, but Casey made some insane, insane vlogs, you know, for, for doing it every day. They're just, he's just so good at it. It's like crazy. Um, so I've watched that. Here's a, ooh, it stinks so bad. Here's a uh, road being paved. So they're, they're paving this whole parking lot, I guess. And it is strong. It's, you know, very, very strong. You know, it smells like fresh, very fresh pavement. Ooh, and what else that's all that's all i was uh you know so emily and i are going to florida with her family i do i do want to go see my parents and i i have to figure that out you know like how do i or when's a good time for me to go i'm kind of thinking i'll probably go there three times this year one in the summer one in the fall and we'll be there probably for Christmas because I couldn't go last year. Well, I guess you would have, I would have been making the vlog by then. So I couldn't go to Christmas last, last year or last Christmas because my parents had COVID. And thankfully, uh, it, you know, they didn't have to go to the hospital. Nothing too horrible happened. They were just able to uh, recover but we couldn't go there because of that. So we hope to go there this Christmas. And I love going to Virginia in the fall. It's awesome in the fall. And it's just, I love the fall a lot. So I wanna go there. And then I'll probably go in the summer. I'm thinking if I don't go there in June or July, I'll probably go around August. So yeah, hopefully you can hear me. I know the wind is crazy. It's a, it's kind of like being in a, it's kind of like being in Chicago. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how much I can put up. You know, what's crazy to me, so like, I've been to, I would say, I've been to a lot of Cubs games. And even in the summertime, uh, it, it's, it's windy. And sometimes, like even at the beginning of June sometimes, it's still so cold, you have to wear jackets and, and hoodies and, it's such an experience, but what, you know, when you go, when you go during a, uh, you know, like regular end of July or by July, it's, it's very hot. And I do love that boat tour. I'm telling you the Chicago boat tour is where it's at. It's so, it's so just relaxing the architecture tour. Mm, it's awesome. Go there. You just chill on a boat, especially if it's not too hot, which it can be sometimes. 
we went with Matthew as well on the 4th of July twice to Chicago just like you know something fun to do we would get a hotel and you know do all of that just hang out in Chicago go to good places to eat and watch the fireworks you know it's the fireworks are awesome I have some amazing memories of being in Chicago during Christmas time and the lighting the lights at Christmas so fun I really did enjoy that as well well I'm almost at Herculean it's at the garage so I'll be back Hello everyone, so I'm back from my walk. I'm back from uh, Herculean. Uh, it was very windy, so I don't know how much footage I will show from me going there, but hopefully I get all of it. I, I'm not sure. Um, so I went to Herculean, I got five meals. I They're $5 each because I used Groupon. And I think I mentioned this before, I never use Groupon, but for this, for these meals, it's the reason I signed up for uh, Groupon. And the Herculean down here takes Groupon, I guess, so I did it. So Herculean is prepared food, healthy, healthy-ish, kind of healthy. So I got five of them. I got barbecue pulled pork. I got three of these, it's barbecued pulled pork, broccoli and sweet potatoes and it's super good the the pulled pork on this actually has a char and it actually it's it tastes like really good homemade barbecue so that's why i like it and the sweet potatoes and broccoli is very good and i just enjoy it so i got three of those i got one teriyaki chicken i've never had this before you know teriyaki and just a lot of different Sauces like that sometimes give me mouth ulcers. I know, very drama. Like I'm not really allergic to food that I'm aware of, but I'm pretty sure I am, I just don't know. Um, but sometimes that's what happens. So hopefully this doesn't happen with this meal, but whatever, if it does, it's not, it's not a huge deal. And then uh, this is very good. It's definitely not healthy, but it's smoked pulled pork and uh, it's just very good. So. They, you know, like they, you can scan this and it tells you the macros for it. So this is 400 calories and it's, it's very good. It's amazing. I mean, it's, it's the real deal. And for five bucks, I, I'm, and it's already pre-made. I don't have to cook it. I can have it at lunch. I just really enjoy that. So they're awesome. If you haven't been to Herculean, you know, maybe you want to try it. I don't know, but I guess it, it's probably only an indie thing. So yeah, and I really and I mainly like it because I'm able to get it so cheap. I don't know how long I'll be able to use Groupon uh, for this Herculean thing, but hey, for now I'm just gonna use it. I like it. It's good. So yeah, and that's what I'm doing. So right now I'm gonna eat lunch, and I only got a f I only got maybe like 20 minutes left. So I'm gonna eat lunch, and uh, I'm gonna watch Castle Rock. I just can't stop watching it. I love it so far. It's very fun. So I'm gonna do that. And then later today, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Emily and I might go on a walk because it's so nice. I think that would be kind of fun. I think it'd be kind of cool to go down to the circle. I'm not sure if we will do this, but I would like to go down to the circle and just see what's down there. Go for, you know, just see what, what's happening and come back. So that would be good. And you can be outside, it's, it's nice. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in a bit. I hope you're having a good Friday. So it's the end of the day, I'm going on a walk. Emily is not with me, she is working very hard on a statistics test. So I'm glad I am not doing that. It's, uh, it's her final, I think she has to take two tests that count as a final, so she's working on that her, on her Friday. So. Uh, yeah, I, I saw one of the questions and I was like, nope, I, uh, that is, that's complicated. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going on another walk and then 
I think I'm going to check my mail because I think my pretzel uh, kit came in. So that'll be cool. I'm gonna check that out, see what's in there, see, see what it looks like and maybe make some pretzels tomorrow, I don't know. So that's what I'm doing. This is called the selfie station. At least that's what this says. Here's a bigger version of the selfie station or the art on the selfie station. So I'm back from my walk and I stopped by the mail room and I got this German pretzel mix I ordered from Amazon. And uh, it's just a pretzel mix. It was actually the cheapest one they had on there, but it had the best reviews as well. There was another one for Auntie Anne's, but I guess this one had better reviews. And the, the box is damaged, but whatever. They didn't put it in a box. They put it in a, you know, one of those floppy envelope ones, but that's fine. I don't think it hurt anything inside. So um, in with this, you get food grade lye, food grade lye. So hold on, let's see. So inside you get your salt, which is right here, your dried yeast, I guess your mix, your flour, your special pretzel flour mix, and you also get uh, food grade lye. So I'm pretty sure this is what makes pretzel, this is what makes a pretzel a pretzel, is this lye mixture. And you mix that with some water, and I, I don't really know what you're supposed to do. I think you do, like you wet the dough with it or something, but, uh, yeah, so after you, I guess, you pour that lye mixture into a mixing bowl and you brush it evenly over the dough, the pretzel dough pieces. So that's what gives it that shine. I would assume that's that uh, chewy, extra chewy crust. So I just figured, you know, instead of buying a bunch of lye, I'm, it's not like I'm gonna make a bunch of pretzels, you know, forever. I'm not, you know, I'm just gonna do it maybe once or twice uh, and just be done with it. So I just got a mix. It's just so much easier because I don't got to deal with having a bunch of lye lying, lying around and not using it. So that would be cool. I know Emily will really like that because Emily loves uh, pretzels. And, you know, in my hometown, there's this pretzel place in the mall, but it's a locally owned one. So, and it's very good. At least what I remember, it, I thought it was very good. And I think it was also called, it was called Katie's Pretzels. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. Now it's called Monk's Pretzels, if it's even there. I don't even know if it's there anymore, but I do remember it being a staple in the mall. So I'll probably make these tomorrow. I think that will be a lot of fun. If I don't make them tomorrow, I'll make them on Sunday. We'll see how they turn out. It'll be, have any of you ever made pretzels? I might have asked you that before. I think it will be cool. And what else am I doing today? It's the end of our day. It's eight o'clock already. I'm probably just gonna chill, upload this vlog. That's it. Tomorrow, I don't have to meet with my team. I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm like, 95% sure I do not have to meet with my classmates. And I got this weekend off. Next weekend and just next week in general is gonna be tough. So I might, um, instead of meeting with my, because we, we don't have to meet tomorrow, I'm going to probably just get ready for the week. I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna do a lot of relaxing, and then I'm gonna do a lot of studying and getting ready for our big project, so. Yeah, and it, I think it's due next Sunday, I think, I think it is. So, or maybe, no, maybe it's due the, the Monday, because I think next Sunday is Mother's Day. So, but yeah, so that's probably what I'll do tomorrow, just kind of prepare for the week. I gotta go grocery shopping, I might do that. I probably won't go to Trader Joe's, 
but I do like Trader Joe's. I, I did enjoy going there. And I do have a lot of food left over from Trader Joe's. I just need to go and get some produce and stuff like that. I think that's everything. So if you're still watching this, comment down below, comment down below pretzel. Is that, I've, I've, I don't know if I've done that one recently. Comment down below pretzel and that's all. So if uh, I, I feel like there's something else. I mean, really, I don't, I don't think there's anything else. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm very excited, which I've said this probably like three or four times. I'm very excited to watch Castle Rock later. And I'll probably call my friend Matthew. And I will probably talk with my friend Chris at some point tonight or tomorrow. And uh, that's all. So you'll definitely see Emily tomorrow. She'll probably give you an update on Cake Bake. Oh, I hope she brings back even just, even just a little bit of uh, leftover cake. It's just, it's just such good cake. I'm, I'm gonna be dreaming about it all tonight. So, okay everyone, well, I'm gonna go. I hope you all have a great uh, weekend. If no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.